Ladies and gentlemen, we start this mega sold off a little bit different because just a few minutes ago, as the Blackpool Combat Club was entering the arena, they were attacked from behind by FTR. FTR seemingly getting a little bit of revenge for what the Blackpool Combat Club has done to them in recent weeks. But it was Moxley and Danielson who would cowardly run off, leaving their Blackpool Combat Club stablemates to take the majority of the beating. After weeks of savage attacks by the Combat Club, Dax and Cash would retrieve their tag team titles. This could have gone a completely different direction, but John Moxley and Brian Danielson took the coward's way and decided to attack us with their gang of buddies in the Blackpool Combat Club. You took our titles and disrespected us, but not only did you expose the fact that you're afraid to face us straight up, tonight you both tucked your tails and ran. Well, we got our titles you stole from us back, but you still got a receipt coming, and the beating you gave us is going to seem like nothing compared to what we do to you when we finally get our hands on you. Go ahead and show them what's in the box, Cash. We got something we've been saving for time when things got a little too personal. The Blackpool Combat Club claim they like to fight. We'll see about that at WrestleMania because we're officially challenging you to a double dog collar match. So it has been made official. The Tag Team Championship match at WrestleMania will be a double dog collar match. But switching gears to earlier today, it was Cody Rhodes' brother, Dustin Rhodes, trying to talk a little bit of sense into Cody. For some reason, everybody seems to feel like Cody Rhodes, with his injuries, is not going to be able to safely compete against the TWFC champion, Gunther. Cody would pull out his phone and make a call to a mystery person. We would find out later who that was. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, it was Doink the Clown making good on his promise, but savagely attacking somebody in the back that has nothing to do with anything going on right now. Doink has been adamant about the fact that Mick Foley must accept his challenge or innocent people would get hurt. Later on in the evening, he would have an innocent cameraman down when longtime friend of Foley, Terry Funk, would come and say, Hey, Foley's in the hospital. He can't possibly accept your challenge. Doink the Clown would strike. And ladies and gentlemen, the second blow was just a little bit too brutal for us to fully show you. But we will show you the after effects. It was Terry Funk being carried out on a stretcher. Now, we haven't seen Mick Foley in weeks, but the question remains, will he somehow answer Doink the Clown's challenge for WrestleMania? Innocent people are getting hurt. If you can hear this, Mick, we need you back. Well, last week, the Intercontinental title triple threat match was made for WrestleMania, and there's been a lot going on with it. Are you serious, bro? It's like, ever since I told you I wanted to find my own way, you've been stalking me or something? How is it that every match I enter you have somehow wound up a part of, you need to get your own life. You need to humble yourself, Ricochet. Nobody is stalking you. There's only so many opportunities available. But the truth is, we're starting to see each other more in the ring because you're finally starting to win enough to be around the finals of things. Congratulations. You made it to where I've been for a while now. But don't act like I'm just following you around or something. When it's you who's finally starting to catch up to me and you know it. Oh, because you've just been so successful lately, huh, Evan? It's not like you're doing whatever you can to keep relevant since you've blown every last opportunity, but no, you're right. Maybe this is exactly what we needed. Because I'm going to prove I was always the better of us two when I beat you and Kevin Owens at WrestleMania and walk away the new Intercontinental Champion. Kevin, you didn't seem too happy to see who your WrestleMania opponents will be last week. Can you tell us why? Run along, Stacy. I'll take it from here. Why am I not happy about my WrestleMania opponents? That's an easy one. Maybe because I've defended my Intercontinental Championship more than any champion has defended their championship since TWFC started. And I was hoping to enter this money in the bank ladder match at WrestleMania and earn a shot at challenging for a world championship. But instead, I'm stuck with two no-name flipping gymnastics routine guys that call themselves professional wrestlers. And it's sad because they both want to work their way up the ladder here in TWFC. And I know what that's like. That was me just a couple years ago, begging for any opportunity I could possibly get to be doing something. Anything. But the fact is, I busted my ass and changed my fate. I made sure that one way or another, I was going to be somebody in this business. But Evan Bourne and Ricochet, they're more concerned with one-upping each other than actually making an impact here in TWFC. 
Yet somehow I'm stuck with them at the biggest event in our industry's history. So yeah, I'm not happy about it, but I'll use that as motivation. When I embarrass them both at WrestleMania, it will serve as a message to everyone in that locker room. And that message is Kevin Owens is a superstar who deserves the big time matches. So after all of that, KO would host his very first episode of the KO Show live with Stone Cold Steve Austin as Kevin Owens would once again plead his case to be in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Stone Cold said on behalf of the board they've heard his complaints and since he's defended his title more than anybody, Owens is in. That would prompt one of his opponents at WrestleMania to make his way down to the ring and interrupt the KO show. Here's what he had to say. You are severely underestimating me, just like everybody else I've ever beaten in this ring. But you've also taken the easy way out of all of your title defenses. At WrestleMania, you're going to face the toughest challenge of your career. Because for me, this is a life or death situation. I have to find a way to leave Mania with that Intercontinental Championship to prove I'm not just some nobody talent that can't win the big ones. So underestimate me all you want, but I promise you I'll be 100% ready to risk it all at WrestleMania. And that's where the third piece of this puzzle, Ricochet, would make his way down to the ring. Neither one of you have any idea how much more this match means to me. You both have had your moments in the past. I've scratched and clawed my way through the years, and I've always come up short. Now I've finally earned a spot on the biggest event in our sport, and this may just be my last chance ever. So there's absolutely no limit to what I'll do to either of you. If that's what it takes to become TWFC Intercontinental Champion. You two are so predictable. It's not even funny. I've beaten legends, so I don't even have to sweat you two. Your little fantasies of being pro wrestlers is about to get ruined at WrestleMania. And I'm going to still be Intercontinental Champion as I climb the ladder on night two and become Mr. Money in the Bank. What a triple threat match that's going to be at WrestleMania for the TWFC Intercontinental Championship. But it was last night on the Pat McAfee Show as advertised. John Cena and Will Ospreay, WrestleMania opponents, would both be interviewed by the man himself, Pat McAfee. And it all started off good. John Cena really enjoying his time back in the spotlight here in TWFC. Him and Pat seem to be longtime friends, and they were talking about the difference in styles, the difference in careers between Cena and Osprey. And that is where Osprey would make his way to the Pat McAfee Show set. And from the very beginning, something just didn't seem right. Osprey refusing to shake hands with Pat McAfee, but it was a question about Osprey being the least experienced of him and Cena that would set Osprey off, causing him to smack the host across the face, getting security involved. TWFC would like to apologize to the Pat McAfee show and everyone involved. Why did I reach across that table and smack Pat McAfee across his stupid face last night? Because Pat, bruv, you represent everything that's wrong with this industry. You and every other Mark analyst in this sport act as if I'm some rookie as to where John Cena is some pro-level veteran that's so much more experienced than I am, and it makes me absolutely sick. John, you called me a big fish in a small pond, but it's me who's tore the house down on every continent of every corner of this planet, while you've stayed in one promotion your entire career, so you don't get to look down on me like some superior talent. When everyone in that locker room, including you, knows you can't hold a flame to what I'm capable of in that ring, and at WrestleMania, it's you who will find yourself lacking the ability to keep up with the more well-rounded talent. For possibly the first time in your career, you will be visibly outclassed and outperformed. You simply don't have the moveset nor the skill set to compete against the best professional wrestler on this planet. For many, this is a dream match, but for me, this is something I need, something I crave. This is the career-defining moment where the world realizes Will f***ing Osprey is on a level all on his own. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the dream match to many. Will Ospreay versus John Cena will take place at TWFC's first WrestleMania. But let's jump into some action from tonight. Money in the Bank qualifying matches. It was CM Punk beating Solo Sokola, punching his ticket to the ladder match. Later on in the evening, it was AJ Styles nailing the Styles clash on Rey Mysterio. Styles representing the Judgment Day is in the match. Speaking of Judgment Day, Rhea Ripley calls the distraction as Dirty Dom would nail Cesaro and another member of the Judgment Day, Finn Balor, would earn his spot in the match. Brody King would pull off a big, big win 
over Drew McIntyre. The King of the Ring is in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And look at this miscommunication by the Judgment Day as Darby Allen would roll up Dirty Dom and punch his ticket to the Money in the Bank ladder match. Seth Rollins would finish the Judgment Day's chances off with the curb stomp, beating Damian Priest. Rollins is in the ladder match. And last but not least, it would be Roman Reigns spearing Logan Paul. Roman Reigns is going to WrestleMania. And ladies and gentlemen, what an absolutely star-studded Money in the Bank match. This is going to be quite possibly the most star-studded we've ever seen. Let's take you to earlier today where Kurt Angle was talking about the importance of the World Heavyweight Championship being on the line at Mania when Owen Hart would say, Bret Hart might have let you slide from talking about our family, but I won't. That's when the hitman would get involved and try to break it up and Kurt Angle said, I don't need you in my way. I've waited long enough to have a match in TWFC. He would challenge Owen Hart to a technical amateur style wrestling match next week. Bret Hart accepted the challenge for his brother as Owen Hart said, we'll see you next week. That's gonna be a fun one as we gear towards this mega match for the world title, Bret the Hitman Hart versus Kurt Angle at WrestleMania. I've been trying to get a hold of you all day. Look, Taker, I respect your opinion, and you've been in the ring with us both, so I need you to shoot me straight. Yes or no? Can I beat Gunther? I've got a lot of respect for you as well as your father, so I'll give it to you straight. The answer to your question is no. Well, obviously not the answer Cody Rhodes wanted to hear as everyone is counting him out. Let's jump to the main spot of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been brought to our attention that following WrestleMania, there will be a brand split featuring two separate shows. And due to the size of this roster, it was decided that a second world championship is needed. So while I agree this roster is huge, and with two separate shows, whichever show the ring general isn't a part of will need its own champion, there is obviously a pecking order, an order of importance, if you will, when it comes to the soon-to-be two world championships. And while the big gold belt is prestigious, the top prize in our industry is and always will be the TWFC championship. So while it's young in its short history, I put in an order to make sure the championship Gunther has over his shoulder looks fitting of the monumental man that hold it and got a much-needed upgrade with more shine and more gold. So ladies and gentlemen, I present to the ring general, the champion of champions, the new and improved TWFC championship. Now that is a championship befitting of the best professional wrestler this industry has ever known. I'm going to get straight to the point here. Everybody, including you, openly saying that I can't beat you has been getting to me the past few days. You sit out here flaunting your new championship while overlooking me like it's some foregone conclusion that you're just going to walk into WrestleMania and steamroll right over me. And honestly, it's pissing me off. So I want to feel this never before seen power that you supposedly possess. You're known for your big chops, right? Well, I want to feel one. Go ahead, I'll stand right here and give you an open shot. Let me feel this unprecedented power. Come on, let's see what this is all about. Don't walk away from me. Come on, big man, show me what you got. here he asked for one shot he didn't ask to just keep being attacked like this this is ridiculous the TWFC champion is literally about to oh my goodness he just power bombs Cody in the middle of the ring Cody Rhodes wanted to feel the power of the TWFC champion but he might have just got a little bit more than he asked for ladies and gentlemen who's gonna stop that man 
Who's gonna stop the TWFC champion, Gunther? Well, ladies and gentlemen, in just 25 days at WrestleMania, Cody Rhodes will challenge the TWFC champion, Gunther. But don't forget, coming up in just two weeks, the official TWFC WrestleMania press conference. This is going to be a monumental event, ladies and gentlemen. Full-length matches will return at WrestleMania as we gear up for our biggest show ever. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you soon.